Hello, this is Linda Mayo, and welcome back to Encouragement Through Cancer. I'm going to read you a scripture right now, and it's coming from Matthew 15. It has to do with eating bread, okay? It's, I'm going to tie it in with some things that I've been led to talk to you about, and those of you that have followed me know that on my cancer journey, that when I was diagnosed with cancer in 2016, through the present 2020, those that have followed me, that have subscribed to me, I want to thank you first of all. And uh, you all know that everything that's happening here is not normal. We don't know what's day or night half the time because of being shut in the house and being very bored, um, not knowing what to think by looking at a news. We don't have clear direction from leadership, from direct demands on what one state should do rather than the other one. But, you know, we do have faith in God. And that alone right there is where I want to lead you to right now as to talking to you about things that are happening that seem normal, but they're not normal. Now, you know, this scripture here, it again is talking about eating food. And Jesus answers. And this is his words, okay? And he said in verse 11, Matthew 15, verse 11, not that which goeth into the mouth defileth a man, but that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth a man. And in verse 17, 18, 19, and 20, this is still Jesus talking. Do not you not yet understand that whatsoever entereth in at the mouth goeth into the belly, and is cast out into the drought. But those things which proceed out of the mouth cometh from the heart, and they defile the man. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulterers, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man, but to eat with unwashed hands defileth not a man. Now that was reference to eating food. And if you're brought up like I was, you washed your hands before you cooked, you washed your hands before you ate, you said your blessings over your meal. Now we're washing our hands for other reasons, safety reasons. Something very tragic happened. And being on this channel, on Encouragement Through Cancer, was exactly that, to encourage. Because God delivered me at my age, in my 60s, to have gone through three breast cancer surgeries. And I'm still sitting here, still willing and eager. And I praise God and I thank him that I will never lose my want to encourage, to edify, to uplift each other until I come. God's commandments and one that I receive myself as accepting him as my Lord and Savior, which is what I did. And I'm so thankful. And I know that I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you right now and encouraging you and all the rest of those that have gone through cancer that are still going through. What's that have to do with this? A whole lot. Everything. God is our redeemer, our keeper, our savior, our refuge, our rock. He is. And we're talking about eating bread. But if we're talking about something that's normal, then, and it's supposed to be now, but it's not normal anymore. Okay. Am I sitting here in an indecent manner? Just getting in a shower or out of a shower? What am I doing? But yet, I'm taping a video. I stopped it. I have to hold it. Nah, can't go any further. Gotta talk. All right, go get the camera. I did set it up. Yes, I'm up close and I am personal. Along with my encouragement through cancer, yeah, I am through cancer. But cancer is in a stage around us everywhere. Setting eating fester. 
And it presents itself in so many ways. You know, out of heart, so is a man. Not what goes into him, but what comes out of him. And we learn those traits. We learn them. We're not born with them. A man not laying with a woman and a woman not with a man and everything that is defiled, that is not of God. What you do on your own personal business is your business, not mine. And we all answer to God when we stand before him on judge, judgment day. Yes, we do. We answer. Okay. Those will answer for the tragic loss of a, just a child, 25 years old. We all know what that's all about. Okay? If we were to do anything, we're not going to do it in broad daylight. Not just doing what we do. We're not. Jogging down the street. We're not. But that's somebody's baby. And I can say baby because again, September I'll be 68. Come on. I can say baby. Mine are 40, 41, 42. I can say baby. And that loss hurts to the heart, all of us. Mm -hmm. But guess what? It's not. I can't look at those individuals when anything tragic takes place. And I'm not ignorant. I have wisdom. I know that one brutal act does not classify a whole group of people. It doesn't mean that everybody thinks like that. It's the man. What comes out of his heart. Individual's heart. Not a race as a whole. No. Not a particular denomination. Not a building. Come on. No. That's not me. No, no. God said right. On the top of your heart, right, my, like breathing, like if I flutter my eyes at you right now. Yes, breathing. Put the word on the inside of you. And the only way you're going to get in is to get in this bird Bible. And this word on your knees before God. When these tragic things happen and we take them to heart, Everything that's going around us right now is tragic. Cancer is tragic. Come on. I ought to know. If anybody knows. Yeah. Tragic. Yeah. Not one diagnosis. Two, three. Come on. If anybody know, I know. Maybe. Why some so eager to bring forth a message, an encouragement to any and everybody, all race, all color. Doesn't matter to me. Because I've read this long enough to know that everybody isn't the same. That what one, two people do or three people or one person is on them. It's how they were raised, how they were taught, how they were brought up. Not people as a whole, but in our society, and has continued on since before when I was born, and you know all the way up back when Jesus came through. Come on. There's marrying and interracial marriages all the time. Yes. But yet and still, you have society where we, Everybody can't get paid the same. Got to be based on, oh, don't wear your hair like that. You're going to get fired. Mm. It's got to be straight down your back. Uh, can't, can't be, don't live on that side of town. Uh, no, no. But yet and still, what is happening right now? Yeah, God is speaking. He's speaking loud and clear. You've heard me say many, many times. The silver lining. And we are still puffed up. We may not have to be in the church building, but we're still looking online to find who got the, oh, oh, that's just a great quote. Oh, did you see how they do? Ooh, they just, oh, let me flash that. Cross, mm, let me send that. Oh, did you hear what he, oh, whoa. Ooh, 
fill my soul. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're still the same thing. You're doing the same way, the same thinking, not making a difference on how you're doing and living your regular life. You're just going through the motions. Again, what comes and saying, confessing the exact same thing you was doing before. It's not what goes into a man that defiles him. It's what comes out of him. And if you are speaking and doing the exact same thing, what good did it do? Why did God hang on that cross and die for us? Because we could do what? I don't know what color he is. Who gives a stink? He can be purple with white polka dots. I don't care. God is God all by himself. You are not going to look at me and say, oh, she can't, she, she don't care. Uh-uh, show sure don't. But what I do care about is that we have sound mind thinking and know who it is that we serve and know who we are as, as individuals. And that the law is right for all of us. That we have the right to live in peace and safety in our own community. And also, if we are having to go outside our community, it's the same. We don't have to worry about what might happen to us from one second to the next. So a lot of things have to change. Okay? And our prison system, the minorities and people of color overrun the prison system and get higher sentences. But yet and still, we make up the least of the population. Now, come on. What's wrong with that? How about guilty 40 years of life for running a red light? Come on. Okay, may not be that. Running a red light. But oh, but possession, even though the ones that's selling it, that's not even down in the neighborhood, not getting it. Whoa. Let's not even go to selling it. Let's go Wall Street. Just taking them a whole bunch of billions of dollars. Oh, excuse me. What you get? A smack on the hand and a little nothing and a good attorney to get you off. Wait, let's go higher. Ooh, good gracious. Let's go up into the Washington, D.C. Up. Uh, Woo. Ha. Mm, what they get? Uh. Exonerated. He fine. He do nothing. Let him go. He my friend. He know people in high places. Is that right? No. Is that cancer? Yes. It may not be physical cancer. But it's cancer. And it's eating us all alive. So now, let us, let me remind you. Let us all be mindful. That Harriet Tubman did a wonderful job of freeing the slaves, but she had help from white people. Oh, let me say that word. White people help get blacks free. Let's not forget that. White people. So it wasn't about black and white. It's about children of God that happened to be black or white. Oh, did the light bulb come on? Come on, Don and everybody. Hello. Oh, okay. Okay. It don't matter about the color, whether that you're a Christian, you're a believer, if you got a good heart. Because what's coming out of your heart? Because when you think, okay, that's not right. I'm going to do something about this. Come on. Uh, no, that's not right. They need to be free. That's wrong. And if I die dying with you, then bless God, I died for something. And you looking at Linda Mayo. Come on. Almost Linda Gail. Mayo, come on. Yeah. That believes that there's something worth dying for. And that's what I'm doing right now, is speaking out. That's why this channel is existing. That's why I'm encouraging you. And the word, relevant things is happening in our daily lives. And anything else, from nutritional to exercises to eating the right stuff, I don't care what it is, to who's just done wrong and Mm, let's speak out about that. Okay. God bless you. Think about it. Yeah. Makes sense, huh?
Somebody got to say it. This is in the mail. Encouragement through cancer. I'll see you right back here again. Oh, and by the way, hold on. Am I decent? Am I not? Oh my gosh, there's clothes under this robe. Well, appearances can be deceiving, can't they? I was washing my hair, not taking a bath. Just like a young man was running down the street, not looking into houses, trying to break into them. Come on. Right is right, wrong is wrong. And we have no right to accept the worst or think the worst about anybody. Okay. God bless you. I'll see you right back here again on Encourage Make You Cancer. Oh, don't forget about your silver linings. All right? Because they're always there. Okay.